Hello everyone, this is Necrostevo, and you're watching my 21st narrated Wi-Fi battle. Uh, I'm actually back at home for this week. I'm in a different location from normal. So the quality is going to be a little different, so I appreciate it if you all bear with me for a week. But here we have a rotation battle with one of my Twitter followers named Pidget, with three T's, not uh, two, uh, not one. And um, the, we had a little miniature theme here where we were trying to choose only grass or fire or even moth Pokemon. It's like a moth to a flame, I guess, or something like that. But it was a fun little rotation battle we had. Uh, so stay tuned to see who won. We had three. This was the best one out of the three matches that we had. So I start off with Jungle Fever, and I use Rock Slide because all three Pokemon she had there are weak against it. And I wasn't sure what to expect from Levany. Uh, I I do a good chunk of damage to it. She has the Citrus Berry, though, and gets a 25% of her HP back. And then she just KOs me with the Excisor. So that was unfortunate. I kind of underestimated Levany there. Um, but you know, I, it gives me an idea of the attacking power of it. I made a mistake in this battle. You see that I sent out Kathy there in the rotation battle, unless the first Pokemon that you send out is the weather Pokemon, you have to bring it out, then bring it back in in order to get the weather effect. Um, so I made a little bit of a mistake there. Uh, but you know, I guess you don't know without trying. Um, here I just rotate and go for the flamethrower, knowing that Volcarona was weak, uh, neutral to it, and Levany would not want to take that at all. And she goes for the Bug Buzz after I brought out Roserade, because that was a nice safe play to go for there. Um, this was more or less just, uh, rotation battles are more about prediction than anything else. And I was a little bit afraid to overpredict predict here, um, and I just wanted to hit something with the Flamethrower, so I went for that again. She went for the Toxic, which was a good move. This Ninetales has no special attack EVs, he does have, uh, she does have max HP and max speed. Um, so that was, that was good going for that, because that got rid of my leftovers over the long term. Toxic damage does not reset when you rotate, so as long as I keep Ninetales in, that Toxic damage is going to keep racking up. Here I go for the Flamethrower one more time. Uh, I was hoping she'd overpredict and bring in the Levani to hit either of my other two Pokemon with the X Scissor, but she just goes for the Earthquake. Um, and that tells me that this is a mixed Tiflosion, because Tiflosion doesn't KO with that Earthquake, despite me being weak against it. She does have the Shell Belt, which I thought was kind of odd, but Tiflosion has the speed and the um, and the attack options to utilize Shell Belt, so why not? Especially if you're playing with Item Claws, where you can only use one item each time. Uh, or Flat Battle, which only allows one item each time, too. Here, I went for the Toxic um, to hit the Tiflosion. I was thinking it might actually have an Eruption, like most Tiflosion do. Um, but it's okay that I hit the Volcarona, because Volcarona has great special defense, and I have a lot of special attackers on this team. Uh... So that worked out well. In fact, I think my Sceptile Jungle Fever was the only thing that had physical attacks. So she knocks me out with the Bug Buzz, takes a tiny bit of toxic damage. I'm, uh, she's doing very well here. I haven't knocked out any of her Pokemon. And uh, here is when I realized that I made the mistake about the weather because I went for the Weather Ball, but it didn't change it to the Fire one. So that means it's a measly 50 base power move. And that didn't do anything. But fortunately, um, this Rosalia is kind of bulky. It's kind of bulky with some speed in it. Um, and here I just go for the Sludge Bomb to finish it off, plus it would have done good damage to either of her two remaining Pokemon. Um, had she gone for the Fire Attack, I guess she was. She might have been afraid to because she didn't want my, um, my, uh, Hound Doom to switch in and use the Flash Fire there. But had she gone for that, it would have knocked out Roserade for sure. Here I went for the Sleep Powder because I knew I was faster than the Embor. And that works out because I'm also faster than Levany. I normally would not be faster because had I put the Sun up, Levany gets that nice Chlorophyll ability doubling his speed. But it works out there. So I just put it to sleep. I go for the safe sludge bomb, knowing that it can do decent damage to all three that she has remaining. And that takes it out. So that works out very nicely. Now we have both of us down to our two Pokemon. She has two basically untouched, and I have my two remaining here. And here I go for the sleep powder, expecting her to outspeed. But she must not have a max speed to Flosion. Um, so I'm able to outspeed it right there, which is very interesting. Uh, that might also come in with splitting the IV, the EVs up in order to... Um, do more damage with those physical attacks. I'll have to ask her about that. But here I go for the Sludge Bomb. Um, she's been asleep for her last turn, and then she wakes up immediately on this turn. So, a one turn sleep. Very. I, I've had a bit of bad luck with sleep lately. Normally I can at least get two to three turns out of my opponents, but I guess all my opponents are already well rested. So she goes for the Safe Earthquake there, um, which was a good play in case I did switch in Houndoom, it would have knocked out both of the Pokemon I had left. Here I just knock out that um, Tiflosion with the Dark Pulse. I do have a Focus Sash on Naughty Dog, the Houndoom, uh, and I, both of the moves that I have remaining, I have Dark Pulse, Nasty Plot, Flamethrower, and Solar Beam, 
And none of those hit him board very well. He's pretty much the quintessential Houndoom counter. So here I go for the nasty plot, hoping that I could get my special attack boosted high enough in order to um, one hit KO it. She goes for the Skull. She didn't know that I had the uh, Focus Sash, but um, Inboard's physical attack is much higher than a special attack, so that actually doesn't do that much damage. Um, and I go for the n Nasty Plot Boosted Flamethrower, and it does a great amount of damage for that being resisted in Inboard's great HP stat. But here she just goes for the Wild Charge and takes me out. So, Pidget, that was a great battle. You guys make sure you go follow her on Twitter, and if you don't have Twitter, at least check out her blog. She has a blog where she uh, uploads pretty frequently actually her thoughts competitively and otherwise on different Pokemon and this is a good variety so make sure you check it out have a great day bye now